five, four, three, two, one. What's up guys, we're Ryan Aerospace. We're super excited about this new video we have for you. This is our second hold down static fire test that we're doing with our new rocket, the Spectre One. Uh, this has all our new equipment in it, like our new uh, mount, our thrust vector mount and our new flight computer. So we're really psyched about this. Um, and so, yeah. So uh, this is the first rocket that is going to implement our new mount called TVCV2. Um, it varies completely from our old mount. Um, it is completely 3D printed. Uh, using two SG90 servos um, to actuate. So we have a PID algorithm that we did a little bit of rough math on to sort of hopefully roughly tune. And as it shows in the video, it performed pretty That's well. Great, yeah. Yeah. So we're also now running quaternions. Um, this is all basically to get everything ready to fly. Um, we basically, we don't want to be doing any more hold down tests. We want to just set this baby up on a launch pad and see her fly. So we're getting everything, making sure these are just our final checks that we're all good to fly. Yeah, yeah, so um, with all that explanation, uh, here is our first static fire test uh, of this round. So guys, that was pretty cool. We're um, kind of honestly a little, little shocked, I guess, that that yeah. worked so well. That Still an arm. Yeah. Because we didn't have any chance to tune anything, like our PIDs at all. That was None of that was done until after that. Well, it was, hasn't been done yet because um, that test was so good and we didn't have to tune anything, so we were really surprised by how well that went. Um, yeah. Yeah, literally, like, the whole point of these tests were so that we could get some data back and see how the PID algorithm is running and see if we can tune those things any finer. Um, but somehow it was pretty much perfect. Like the rough calculations that we did seemed to be pretty good for those PID values. And as you can see in the video, it stays super stable. And as you'll see in the graph, that'll be somewhere on screen now. Um, if you look at the pitch and roll, um, both of those values peak up a little bit as we hit thrust and then both of them head back to a stable value and that just shows that the rocket is working, it's thrust vectoring, it's doing everything it needs to do, everything that we programmed it to do. So uh, yeah, without further ado, here's our second test of the day right about now. One. Okay, so that was our second one. Not too much change that time. Um, uh, we actually did shift the rocket up in the gimbal mount just slightly so that it would be a little more unstable so that we could see if um, the if the last test wasn't just a mistake. So we, we did shift it up a little bit and it still performed just as well as we'd hoped. Um, so yes, yeah, so that was pretty sweet. Um, I don't know, just the second time was just as good. Yeah. So. Yeah, we were so surprised by how well it worked last time. We're like We were just like playing devil's advocate with each other. Like, okay, well, maybe it was too far down. Um, maybe there was too much friction in the gimbal. And so we accounted for all of that in the second time. Um, so we moved it up. We like put WD-40 on that gimbal um, just to make sure that everything was like, there's nothing that could be interfering with our results just because we were so surprised at how well it thrust vectored and how stable it stayed. It still performed perfectly. Yeah. So. So then, so the next idea we had, because we wanted to just make sure that this thing was really rock solid, is we were gonna, um, so we, we thought we'd 
tie a string onto the rocket, uh, the body of the rocket. Just a pretty simple thing. It just pulled the string while it was going to see if it could correct itself. Yeah, sort of so. simulate something, something dynamic in flight that might happen, like a little bit of wind or right. just a minor instability. Exactly. Luke, do you want to elaborate a little bit? <laughs> um, well, I forgot to turn on the flight computer. Um, and um, that led to the creation of this. Um, we never really thought we'd need one of these. Um, you'd think it's fairly simple, but obviously that's proved not to be the case. So we now have an Orion Airspace standard operation procedures and quantitative, qualitative launch data. Um, that just helps keep everything in order so that something like this does not happen again. Yeah. I promise. <laughs> All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching this video. Um, we're really excited that we're able to show you guys all this improvement we've made. Um, so kind of what's in the future, we're hoping to kind of get some launches coming up here in the next, I mean, ideally we'd be able to do a launch in a week. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. That's but the, yeah, we also plan to do this hold down test within a week of the last one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. so, yeah. Turns out rocket science is hard. So our next, what we need to work on now is the, um, the uh, shoot ejection system. And that's kind of my, what I'm doing. So there should be a video coming out on that, um, probably not in the next week, but perhaps after our launch test, uh, but depending on when that is. But a uh, video of how I designed it, how I built it, um, that'll be really sweet. You guys can definitely check that out. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then so also now, I mean, if we're gonna do a launch, we need a launch pad. So while Hugh's finishing up that shoot ejection, uh, Luke and myself, we will be designing the launch pad. Um, and so we'll be getting that video up for you guys as well, just a little bit of talking about what's gonna go into our launch pad and how all of those systems are gonna work together. Um, and then we'll be coming at you with a launch video. So yeah. Um, you can also follow us on Instagram at Orion Aerospace. Uh, we've got a pretty cool page up. We'll be um, posting more frequently as we get more content out. So yeah, yeah. And be sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. See you in the next yeah. video. Yeah. Be sure to look out for it. Sweet. Rockets out. <laughs> wow. That's our new uh, catchphrase. Already, is it flat? That'll be the that'll be the blooper at the end of the video. <laughs>